Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and as you can see, we are going to sew our um, Christmas mushroom journal, or mushroom Christmas journal, into uh, the cover. And I will show you more, because I know I haven't even shown you guys the cover yet. I did the cover the same way that I did the black and white um, Christmas journal, where I used Amazon packaging and covered it with fabric and then stitched all over it. I did the exact same thing, but I'll show you guys in just a minute. First, we're going to poke our holes because I've got it all uh, bound in there. So I'm like, i just going to do this. And we'll also talk about um, what part we're sewing and all that once I get it sewn in. So many of you have seen this uh, a million times. And if you are, um, if you follow Gail Agustinelli, she's probably the best one to uh, watch do this. I am not. <laughs> because... I don't know. I just struggle every time. Like, I don't know. It's rare that I don't struggle. So I'm just poking holes in the center and then roughly an inch down from the top and an inch up from the bottom. And I am using my um, book cradle to do this. And I sell these in my Etsy shop. They are, I'm going to just leave that in there because it's fine. So you see. It's 3D printed on our 3D printers, and you can see where the holes are poked. Um, it just is great because of the, sorry, this uh, trough, I like to call it, that's in here. Your um, all goes right down in there, and that way you can get that nice, straight, even um, spine holes instead of sometimes when you do this, you might have the hole come out this way or out the back or whatever, you know. So it's just, they're just kind of handy um, for helping you, assisting you in sewing in a signature. That's what I'm trying to say. So I just put my, and I'm leaving that all down there because it's just kind of holding my place. <laughs> And hopefully we'll make these line up better because I always struggle trying to sew in signatures. Did it go in the middle or is it going somewhere else? I always seem to get it going somewhere else. Okay, so I'm gonna take my all. And I'm gonna poke it back through that hole because sometimes that helps me find the spot. Yeah, I am nowhere near as fast as Gal at this. And I've done, I don't even know how many journals, uh, a ton. And I still struggle every time. So if you do struggle with this, don't feel bad. And I'm sure it's a lot of mind over matter. Like, I'm sure I do a lot of it to myself. Still didn't get it. But yeah, so you just got to keep trying to get it in that right spot. There we go. So you go down through the middle and then back up. I didn't get that in the right spot. Thought I did. Um, I'm poking entirely wrong here for some reason. There we go, geez. Um, so down through the middle, back up through the top is how I do it. You can do top or bottom. That part doesn't really make any difference. But then you're gonna come back down to the bottom and out. And then you're gonna come back in through the middle, which can be tricky. Okay, come on now. I'm telling you, I struggle every time and I watch other people do this and they just like, oh, bing, there it is, right in, you know. <laughs> like, why am I so goofy? <sighs> okay, and then I unclip it. You can keep it clipped, but I just like to unclip it and then tighten it because I feel like then I get a better tightening. And you want one string on one side of that central line and one on the other. So I have a string over here and a string over there and the middle string going down the center. And then you do want them to be tight. So often what I do is get my tie started and I lift and tie. Sorry, I, my fingers are a little bit inky from my last video. I just did a video. <laughs> Monday and uh, Wednesdays 
and Fridays are my video days. And then the other days I do stuff for my Etsy shop. So I apologize that I got inky fingers. So I just do a little bow, but you can do um, charms and all kinds of stuff. I'm not much of a charm person. Every once in a while I'll get the whim. I don't have a whole lot of them, so that's probably, and that's fine. I don't need. Haven't decided if this one's going to be a gift yet <laughs> or if I'm going to sell it. So I still have some work to do on it though. So I still have time. I'm going to wipe off my inky fingers while that little tiny dot of glue right there dries. And then I'll probably do something up there because I did manage to poke through the paper. So I don't know what yet, but I'll figure it out. These things happen and you can fix stuff. So don't feel like, oh, now I have to throw it in the trash because you don't. Okay. So now I'm just going to touch that so it's done. I just like to put a little uh, glue dot on that knot so that it stays tied. So what we have here is, I'll flip it over so that can continue to dry a little bit, is you can see where it's sewn right there and I may end up putting some lace over that part, but I have my packaging under here and I just have um, stitched on some mushroom fabric that I got and some holly and then I just put a lace pocket in. So, is that dry? So what we have is our pocket, and this is just a piece of lace that after I stitched around the outside of um, both sides of this, and then I um, did like crazy stitching all, you can see the stitching running all over in there. I put on a piece of lace that was a width that I liked, and you can use any width. If you want deep pockets, use a deeper lace, and um, you just sit stitch around the outside like that, and then it'll get stitched in the center when you sew in your signature. Okay, so this book has the one signature, which you just saw me sew in. I put a piece of fabric over the spine just to um, help strengthen it a little bit because it is only sewn by that one, you know, that one stitch there. So, um, and as you know, this is put together not like I normally do a signature where you fold the pages in half and then put them inside of each other. It's put together by hinging. So there's a hinge here to hold that. And then this opens like this. So this was all the hinge, and I know it's been a while since I did a video for this, but um, that's how I put this journal together. So like this is an envelope that I added between two sheets of um, the kit paper, which is Mushroom Christmas um, digital download kit that's in my Etsy shop. And I did a video on the beginning of this and how I put the pages together. So um, I'll try to remember to link that and put them all in one playlist. So that's what that page is. And then this page, like I said, that little um, paper clip comes off. This opens and there's a pocket here. I haven't uh, made anything for these tall skinny pockets yet, but I will. I will be doing that now. I'm gonna have to fix this again. <laughs> but basically, it's sort of like a hinge journal, except it's sewn in. So I don't know, just something different. I just wanted to play around and see what we could make. And this is another page, a whole sheet of paper that is um, hinged on right here with this hinge. And then I added a, this little pocket that we made together. And there's a little mushroom and a tag and these tags here. And this is just made out of book page. I did this in a video. And then there's our center. And then um, here's another page with a tall pocket. And again, I did these by gluing two pieces of the kit page, which is just copy paper together. So I glued down here cross here up this and then I glued this whole portion together so there's just this opening there's no other openings up the top but you could make them open that way and then here's another little um, book page pocket that we did and a guest check 
the green guest check. And then this one flips open this way and has been glued across here, down here, here, did a thumb notch on the side of the page. And these are eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper. Um, and I just attached it to another page that's been hinged together here. See, that opens like that. So that's a whole sheet of paper. And then there's an envelope that I attached in between the two sheets of paper again. You can see. So this side is uh, coffee dyed paper. This side is um, just regular um, ledger paper. And then this page is added on top. So that's like that. And then this is an envelope. There's our little spot. And I kept that little piece. I could cut that off. I know it looks a little bit weird, but it gives you a little extra writing spot. So that's kind of nice. Maybe this will go back in here. And then here we have our little altered uh, film slide. And this is just a little tag. This comes in the kit. I just added a piece of coffee dyed paper, folded it, and then snipped it like a tag. So it'll go there. This opens up for writing. And then this one opens on the other side. So these two pages are attached. And then this one opens out like that. And then I've attached another piece of paper right here using washi tape. And I did add glue to this washi tape. So this piece of paper is separate from this piece of paper. But to this piece, singular piece of paper that I printed on both sides, um, kit pages, I've added just a little notepad right here. So that's some um, um, Florentine paper and then just copy dyed paper to write on. And that just folds up and it's attached here too with the washi. So this is this page. I know this is very confusing, but you see this, this snowflake here is all one sheet of paper with another sheet over the top to give you the pocket here. And then I've just added a piece of paper into the center by using the washi tape as a hinge. And then there's our back with our fabric. I, I wanted to put the fabric over the all the folds and hinges just to give it some strength, you know, so because it is sewn in, um, I didn't want the paper to rip and then that to fall because this is heavier than what, um, well, I mean, I guess it's not heavier than a regular journal would be, but it is, it's a good weight on that. And then this is closing like this and I'm gonna tie this cute little check around here and I just added some uh, vintage jingle bells on a fold pin so they'll be like on there like that I didn't want to cover this at all because I love these mushrooms they're so cute so um yeah but I added these little lights that I got at Hobby Lobby and the gnome here he wasn't in this one either was the bird up there so yeah so just that's where we're at with the gnome mushroom journal. <clears throat> so I made some more of these little gingerbread mushrooms and I thought it might be fun to put one on one of the pages in here. And I'm thinking this green page and then have it as a little tuck spot behind it. So we could tuck a tag or something like that. I'm trying to think, I think I might go ahead and cover the back of it with um, I don't know if I want that one or this one. I know I want one of the bigger ones just because it's a little bit, you know, a bigger pocket. I don't know, I think I like this one. All right, so I think I will put a little vellum maybe on the back just so that when you're tucking the tag in and out, it's not getting caught up on the uh, windows and all of that good stuff. But you wouldn't have to. I mean, you could just leave it like that and, you know, tuck something in behind it. I just think it's going to stay or make it easier to get the tag in and out and not have it getting caught up on there. So if you don't remember or if you didn't see the video, these are my little, um, as I was testing my pen, uh, craft uh, cardstock laser cut mushrooms. 
um, that I sell in my Etsy shop. And you get them like this, just the plain craft color is how they come. I've painted across the top with just red acrylic, just cheap red acrylic. And then taken a gel pin and drawn all over, you know, like kind of gingerbreadish, so that it sort of looks like a gingerbread house. For Christmas. So that is that. So how are you guys doing? Sorry, I just dove right on into that because um, sewing in signatures always makes me a little nervous. <laughs> I've been doing this for like five years and I still don't like sewing in signatures. <laughs> so yeah, that's me. That's me for you. But yeah, I do love making journals. That's just not my favorite part, I'm going to say. But you watch Gail. Just if you want to watch somebody really good at it, watch Gail. Because she just whizzes right through that like nobody's business. So I'm trying to find my little card. I think I put, stuck it in here. But yeah, just uh, watch her do it because she's super good at it. I definitely believe it is a mind over matter. It's just got me over the barrel and so... It'll never, you know, be easy for me until I decide it's easy for me, if you know what I'm saying. So that's just my own hang up. Alrighty, so I am going to cut this out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back. So I know um, I didn't go through this journal like step by step. And part of that is because... Um, I was just learning how to do it myself or, you know, teaching myself how to do it. So now that I know how to do it, the next time I do one of these type of journals, I will do it more step by step with you guys. It just happened to be one of those things that it was like, I'm not even sure how I'm going to do this. So it's really hard to do a video when you um, don't know. And I did do the one video of, you know, sort of how I did it, but um, I know it would have been helpful for me to do more videos, but uh it was really just about me wrapping my head around how I wanted to do it. So um, hopefully what I've told you helps a little. I know it's not 100%, but I'm just going to kind of glue that much of it, I think. And there, it, then it'll just be kind of a little side tuck here. Uh-oh. <laughs> didn't think about that. Big old glob of glue right there through that little window or door. And you could cover um, different parts of the mushroom in different ways, like I did with the, that bag I made where I did the uh, tissue paper through there and then did something else at the bottom and all that. But I just thought this would be, you know, an easy way to do one. And covering the whole back isn't really necessary either. You could just cover the spots, but that makes a nice smooth spot for a tag or a journaling card or whatever to go through. All right, let's see what we got. I still have lots of stuff I need to make for this. <gasps> this might be kind of cool, but it's really big. Something like that might be neat though. So just Tim Holtz pieces. Yeah, it's really tricky because it is glued over here, huh? I didn't even think about all that part. So we might just need a little tag. That might be all that will fit. Here's um, one of the houses, the gingerbread houses. And I also saw those houses in the, in the Etsy shop. That one would work. See, the problem is the opening and closing right there is the problem with the tags. This one will probably work because it's a little way. Yeah, maybe we'll do that one. That'll work. Okay. 
Might use that Yule Tide somewhere else though, because I do like that. So then I'll take a piece of coffee dyed paper and put it on the back of that. And I think I'll do the little folded trick that um, I got from Carol Laws. She just fold a piece of coffee dyed paper or whatever kind of paper you, that you want to use. You could use ledger or whatever. And then um, put it right on there and cut around it. And that's probably not the best way either because you could get it more to size if you tried harder than I am. Just creating more and more scraps, right? <laughs> it's okay, the little bits you can stamp on and whatever. This just gives you more writing space. You can just cover the back if you want to. You don't have to do it this way. And then see, you've got almost like a little booklet. Should we put a little something else on here? Maybe like a little label or something. Be cute. Oh, all my digital downloads are 30% off in my Etsy shop right now. So if you are interested or there's one that you've been um, keeping an eye on, they're on sale. So, just a little Merry Christmas sale. What do I want? Maybe I want that joy right there. I could cut in a straight line, right? Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, that'll just give it a little something extra. Ink it. Okay, I just don't feel like it needs a whole lot else. I'm, I'll probably put a little fabric tab up there or something, but there's that. And then what else do we need to do? We need to do those long skinny tags, which are never my favorite, but. <laughs> and that's mostly because I struggle with putting, um, coming up with how to decorate something that's really long and skinny. <laughs> I don't know if you guys do have that problem or is it just me? I could use a, just like a piece of this would actually work really well because it's a cardstock, so it's a little thicker. You do need something a little bit thick to go in and out of those long pockets because they are tricky. I should probably figure out how wide that is. That's about uh, two and four, eight, it looks like. So we'll go, because there's always glue. We will go to 
do two and three eighths. back to the and there's glue <laughs> so we might go I wonder if I should just do two because I have that punch um, for the top that I could use yeah we could try that sorry I'm trying not to clunk and chunk too much there That's a Stampin' Up! punch that does that. Is that gonna, yeah, that'll work. And I'll just put a little fabric or something up at the top there. That actually worked really well. Now, what else do I want to put on it? Or do I want anything on it? Um, I don't know. I am thinking I need to back it. What with? I don't know. No, oh, I don't know. That piece isn't big enough. Is it? Oh, it is big enough. But I don't know if I want to cut it like that. It would look weird. I need the one with the um, snowflakes. I don't think I have any more of that one. I'd have to print it again. I won't torture you guys with that. We'll just use some coffee dyed paper. What I think I'm going to do is just cut this at two inches and put it in there and punch it because I know I won't be able to get it um, cut out again. Sorry, that was all over the place. <laughs> I just know it won't work right if I try to uh, just glue it on to the coffee dyed paper and then do it. This will probably not totally work either, so. Let's see if we can get this to line up right. If it's, oh, it's barely not, almost not long enough, but we're gonna make it work. not to cut my glue <laughs> okay so what I'm going to worry most about is lining up this top section here just because obviously that's very tricky get it not completely <laughs> I think I got it that time. Hope. I hope. All right. There's that. I'll ink it a little bit. I kind of just like it with the pine cones. I know that's a little bit boring, but I just know... Um, it's going to look weird if you try to add. And now the coffee dyed paper is too long. Isn't that bizarre? It was too short when I first held it up there. That shows you how much it kind of wrinkles, you know. All 
All right. Yeah, I'm afraid any of the things I try to put on there aren't going to fit. You know, you could do something like this. Because <laughs> I have so much trouble using these Tim Holtz pieces when they're this big. But that might be kind of cool. <laughs> Kind of the good side of the pumpkin or pumpkins. Yes, these are pumpkins, don't you know? Uh, how about pine cones, Amy? Yes, pine cones. I kind of like that. Is that weird? I think that's kind of cool. <laughs> that's a good use of that thing because, oh my goodness, I can never use those. They're just huge. I like it. All right, let's use some art glitter glue on that. Holiday greetings, five cents. It and it'll be fun. I'll put up red, uh, some kind of something up there, fabric. And I probably have. Red seam binding right here. That'll make that even easier to slide in and out of that pocket. didn't I? Yes. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Some days. Some days it doesn't pay to get out of bed. There we go. That looks a little better. Everybody's out shoveling snow. Well, the people on the other side of the street. <laughs> Ours luckily melts. I love that. You know, when the weather's uh, nice enough, it does. Yeah, I like that for in there. I think that's good. It's bead. Do I have any other tall, skinny pockets here? No, they're all up this way, I think. There's another one. So what do I want to do for that? Um, not sure. Is this long enough? I do like the cardinals. I think so. They kind of go perfect. Let's just make it the same size as this one. And before I cut the top, I will um, it's about eight and a half. Eight and a half. I will back it first. This time. So this time I can just glue it on there. If 
you're still hanging with me, thank you. <laughs> I know this isn't the most exciting, but I don't know. It's just, um, maybe it's a good little thought. I mean, not that you guys can think of it yourself, obviously, but it's just, sometimes it's like, oh yeah, I can do something just simple like that and it will work. So, because I, I do that all the time. I'm not trying to... Um, Say like I have all the simple ideas or something because I don't. I always usually make it harder on myself than it needs to be. So uh, yeah, sometimes it's nice just to do kind of a simple something and not stress about it because it can get overwhelming. You make these journals and they have like a million pockets and you're like, oh my goodness, now I need to fill all of these pockets. Especially on things like this, the long and skinny, like I said, I really struggle trying to decorate them just because you can't put anything wide, you know, it has to only be so big. And um, that can be a struggle for sure. Like I couldn't put a mushroom, it would be too wide. Did I make that wonky? I think I did. I do that quite frequently with the guillotine. So let's see, let's see, that's not, I was already measuring wrong. And it scoots, so that's something to keep in mind. I am such a calamity, oh my gosh. It's still not right. Clean up my messes here. All right, now this can be inked. look good with a little green maybe oh that didn't get doesn't look like it got rounded all the way it's just gonna be one of those with the long the long skinny um cardinals on there same idea as this but cardinals all right note to self don't punch it until you get it the exact right size right but this one can go in here. It's all ready to go. So see, even the simple tags sometimes get you. All right, guys. So we got it sewn in. We got our little mushroom uh, tuck spot there. And tag. And a long tag. One long tag. Could have had two. But I think that's going to work. Doing Sewing it in. I mean, you can see where it's sewn. And I think that's going to work like that. I'm happy with this. I, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do as far as a cover, but I think this is gonna work great and it's gonna look so cute with that check. So anyway, I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and we will chat again soon. Love you guys, bye now.